Get in, Chip. I've had some good mates, but I've had some better mates as dogs. They are unbelievable animals. Now look who we have here. Jesus Christ. That's not Jesus Christ, it's you. <laughs> Paul would roam the streets and bring home every dog he could find. When Paul was young, there was a lot of rough and ready ways to do things. A lot of the dogs got pretty severe treatment when they'd done something wrong. If you don't get the initial rearing part right, you won't have anything to work on anyway. There you go, fellas. It takes a special person to go against the grain. A lot of people get carried away and they discipline a dog with anger. And the more you yell, the worse it is. If you haven't got the bond and the trust, you haven't got anything. It's like magic. Yeah. It's actually quite annoying to see how easy it is. If he could read me like he reads a dog, we'd have a pretty good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how he looks intelligent when there's food about. He's a corn artist. You little thinker. <laughs> well, I'm quite proud of them, but they're um, they're of no value to anybody really but me. When I've had enough of looking at them, perhaps I'll donate them because my kids, they have got no importance to them. If it wasn't for those dogs, he wouldn't have anything to get out of bed for in the morning. I don't have to go and do these jobs anymore, but I think whatever I teach somebody, that it'll help that dog. The dog may get a better life through me doing this, so I'm more for that. I'll never stop doing that. Mm -hmm.